Good afternoon, Mark Rudolph here. I'm a branding advisor to CEOs and author of three books on branding, all geared to CEOs. The first one is called Be Unique or Be Ignored, The CEO's Guide to Branding. The second one is Brand is Destiny, The Ultimate Bottom Line. And my latest, Intra Branding, The Keystone of Corporate Agility. Today I'd like to talk to you about Rush Limbaugh, a conservative icon who recently died and who was branding incarnate. Now if the name Rush Limbaugh offends you and you want to turn me off, I don't really care. But maybe you shouldn't be so hasty because you could learn something. And that's what I'm all about, learning something. Every time I appear on radio or TV and I talk about branding, I make sure that the audience understands that a brand is an emotional connection that a vendor has with its customers. But the vendor could also be a politician or a media personality, and instead of customers, it would be voters or listeners, viewers, but the audience, and customers can be construed as an audience. To the secret of resonating with the audience is knowing who the audience is. Some people don't know that. And the second point you have to understand is what does the audience want? What does the audience want to hear? And finally, you have to deliver value to that audience. Now, it's only value if the audience says it's value. Now, Rush Limbaugh died recently, and since then, all of his followers have been in mourning. It was a very tough blow. I remember where I was when his wife went on his show and announced his death. I was shocked. It was something else. Now, why did I react that way, and why did tens of millions of people around the world react that way? Because we had a close association with Rush. I drove from California to Pennsylvania in November of 2019, and a big part of my day while I was behind the wheel was at 12 noon Eastern, finding a place on the radio dial where I could listen to Rush because I would always learn something and I would always laugh. It was great. But Rush affected, I think he had 21 million people every week tuned in. And back in the day, they had Rush rooms in corporations where people would gather at lunchtime to listen to Rush on the radio. This was before the internet. The point is that he had a strong emotional connection with his audience, therefore he had a strong brand. Joe Biden, on the other hand, as an example, when he would do a rally, he was lucky if he could garner 10 people because he has no followers and he has no brand. So you have to think about that if you're running a company, how do your customers feel about your company? Do they look at what you sell as a mere commodity and everything is based on price and delivery? Or do they have an emotional attachment to your company because you enrich your customers in some way? You won't know the answer to that question if you don't ask your customers. Now, Rush Limbaugh was brilliant. He not only knew the Constitution back and forth, but he understood America, and he understood Americans. He also understood the liberal onslaught that was against conservatives. So he knew his audience, he knew what his audience wanted to hear, and he delivered it. That's a big part of branding. You can make a lot of promises. But if you don't deliver what you promise, if you don't walk your talk, then your words are meaningless. And 
You have to, even if you weren't a Rush Limbaugh fan, you have to admire the loyalty. He's been dead over a week, and his show is still going on. He has substitute hosts, and I don't know how long it's going to last, but you have to admit, that's an unusual phenomenon. And it's because of the emotional connection. You remember back in the day when Apple would put out a new product, and people would line up around the block, even sleeping overnight, to be the first to get the product, or one of the first to get the new product. That's a strong emotional attachment that the vendor, Apple, had with its customers. It doesn't really happen anymore. But it used to happen, and that's an example. Now, if you're listening to this and you're a person who thinks, oh, well, branding only is with, uh, pertaining to consumer companies, you would be wrong. Branding has nothing to do with companies and everything to do with people. And there are people who are customers in industrial companies, military companies, commercial companies, and consumer-based companies. They all have emotions. And I explain this in all three of my books, which you can get at markrudov.com. You see it right behind me, markrudov.com. That's where you have to go to get my words of wisdom and my books, and of course to engage me to help your company personally. But I wanted to make the point that if you really want to understand viscerally what it means to have an emotional connection with your audience, you need to study Rush Limbaugh, because what he delivered is what his audience wanted. And the reason he knew what to deliver is because he knew his audience. I've consulted with many companies who do not know their customers at all. They think of them as some amorphous blob, but they don't interview the customers and they don't understand the customers. I've been in too many boardrooms to know that that is a fact. So, in my opinion, the epitome of a brander is Rush Limbaugh more than anybody I can think of. He had a very strong, enduring, emotional connection with his audience that lasts beyond his death. I challenge you to match that in history. So, in conclusion, you can't have a strong brand unless you have a strong emotional connection with your audience, your customers, your voters. And my last book, Intra Branding, is very important to you if you're running a company of any size. Because if the people inside your building do not know what your company's brand is, and they don't adhere to it, and embrace it, and follow it, then it will fail outside the building. That's why I wrote the book, because I saw too many companies falling down. I'll go into a store, and I'll go up to a clerk, and I'll ask, what is your company's brand? Uh? That's a good example of an employee who has no clue. And you know whose fault that is? It's yours, the CEO. It's your fault, because if you don't sell it internally, it will fail externally. Not only do you have to have a strong emotional connection with your customers outside of your building, you need to have a strong emotional connection inside. That's enough. Thanks for sticking with me. Mark Rudov, Branding Advisor to CEOs, and you can find me at markrudov.com.